So the real first video of this series that I wanted to do for the week is to explain why I chose the math major, why I'm graduating from UCLA with a math major. So freshman Johan actually came into UCLA as a precognitive science major because of a silly mistake. I meant to choose computer science and I didn't read the entire sentence. So instead I got accepted as a cognitive science major. A lot of people don't really know that part of uh, my major history, but yes, I also, and so I didn't want to be a cognitive science major. So first quarter, I decided I was going to work to transfer into the computer science major, which requires a lot of things. It requires a really good GPA and taking a certain amount of classes in a certain amount of quarters. And so I tried doing that. And the first quarter I was here, I felt um, amazing. I felt like I could conquer the sun. And so I took on way too much and I ended up eating dirt. I didn't fail, but I was not as good of a student as a, as I was in high school. So yeah, I pretty much failed the process of trying to transfer to the CS major. And it made me really contemplate life for a really long while. So I made a ton of spreadsheets. I have like probably 15 different spreadsheets, like doing like four year uh, plans for like 15 different majors that I wanted to transfer into. Um, some of those choices were physics, some of that was design. And so math was one of those. And for me, like I weighed the options, like when it came down to it, it was either math or physics, because those two subjects were like the ones that were like still kind of good to me. And in the end, math kind of went over. But then when you look at the math department, there is a lot of different majors for the math department. And so here's the second reason, uh, second? I don't know. Here's another reason why it ended up being math of computations. Uh, and it's because I was stingy. I was petty about the classes that I had already taken for transferring to the CS major. I told myself I already went through the struggle of passing that class. I'm not going to let that class just go. And so I chose the mathematics and computation major because it gave a purpose to why I almost failed those classes. It made me feel like I didn't waste taking a class because had I taken like the, the pure math uh, major, then me taking ComSci 31 was kind of useless to me. So then I stayed with the more CS route of math because it was economical. That was it. That was really it. But like all those reasons kind of just doesn't like justify like why stay in the major for like four years and like struggle through all of this. All like the C minus and the C pluses that I got in my comp sci classes. Um, I'll talk about it in probably tomorrow's video where I talk about failure. And to me, I just chugged along with the mathematics or computation major because I still do like CS. I still do very much enjoy CS. I just was not very good at it. But yeah, the main reason why I'm a math computations major is because of that. And the reason why I'm continuing the math major for this PhD is because I still like math. I learned within these past three years since I transferred in to the math major that I actually really do enjoy math. There is a lot of math there out there and I found the math subject that really speaks to me, that really makes it like fun for me. So that's why I stuck with it. Okay, so we reached the end of the part of this week where I talk about my math major. If you have any questions about my math major, you can certainly just hit me up about it. I can tell you all about like my experience with the math major. That's it for now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.